Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's time for another chit chat. And yes, honey, we gonna make this, this gonna be about 30 minutes, girl. So go ahead, get you some snacks, get it together. Now I am twisting my hair. This is going to be a separate video. I am using the um, Design Essentials Mousse along with a curl custard and some other madness to do this twist out. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, so how y'all doing? Are we ready for Christmas? Are you ready for uh, Hanukkah? We're already in the middle of Hanukkah. Um, I mean, how how are we feeling right now, y'all? I know so many so many people, even before COVID, this is a really sad time of the year. They get depressed during this time. Um, I am here to encourage you. Okay, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Okay, if you are breathing, if you have life, you are blessed. We are, those of us who are in the U.S., the number of people who are dying every day, I just came out of the living room and I, I closed the door and locked it. Nobody can come in here anyway because, you know, my baby is not here. But still, um, 3,600 people, highest number of people who have passed away from the coronavirus. And, excuse me, um, I, I, I had to leave y'all. It's, re it's a really difficult time for those of us who are, um, empaths or empathetic. And I, I, I am breaking down crying every week over not just this, but just stuff in general. Um, there are, I, I just left the living room, like I said, and hearing about the 3,600 people who have passed away and there were, um, I guess three sons talking about their parents who passed away and they passed away in the same bed together. They were only in their early 60s. And I'm hearing that a lot of families or children who are becoming orphaned and not just, oh, because these, these three boys were older, but younger kids. There's two young boys out in, was it El, Pas El Paso, Texas, who are orphanage, who are orphans now. Sorry, y'all. Um, but we don't do any gatherings you know we just we stay put y'all and just trying to wait it out and hope that things get better um we have found the family that we visit and because they all stay home too they haven't left the house I feel kind of bad for the little girl there she literally has not left the house since march that's a lie i think they took her to a pumpkin patch in october but that's it like they don't go anywhere which i don't blame them so got to bunker down do what you got to do you have to do what's best for your family i am not judging nobody you know it is what it is so um so y'all let's talk about some things um i heard the unfortunate use of debo the actor that played debo um what was his name they called him tiny his nickname was tiny he passed away from covid well, it hasn't been official, but they said he had COVID-like symptoms. So I'm assuming he had COVID. Um, he lived out in California. He was found unresponsive in his apartment. We have the woman who played in BAPS. Um, she passed away from colon cancer. She was 53. Look, y'all have better get right. People are checking out left and right and we kind of talked about this in my last chit chat with all the celebrity deaths and the music and it well, not necessarily celebrity deaths but all of the celebrities that I had a family member um passing away due to violence gun violence specifically and so people are checking out left and right it is absolutely sad the amount of people you know you have children killing um their their family members we had a guy in, in our neighborhood to kill his mother domestic disputes are on the rise we have had three murders in our neighborhood and this is a nice neighborhood i mean houses start off in the 300 thousands in our neighborhood so but it doesn't matter crime can happen anywhere and especially right now and especially i'm not going to go there but i am especially being it being um we're we're in the end times it's going to increase this type of behavior is going to increase so you know with that being said it's another reason why my butt's staying home i don't know these people i don't know you i don't know what's going on in your family i don't know what type of issues y'all have no we're staying home so y'all so yeah it's it's 
it's sad it's really sad so yeah that woman died from baps and um what else did i like her from she was in um how to be a player with bill bellamy so yeah y'all so you know i am still remaining optimistic as a believer i just have to be that way and faithful um and it was so funny i was talking to and i didn't mention this in my my blog i was uh chatting with antoinette busby bubs y'all know who she is with the pretty thick hair and 500 kids girl oh <laughs> uh, we, we chat every now and then and so she said that this year had because she's just you know checking in and see how we do that just checking and see how each other are doing right she said that this year has been the best year for her even though you know things are crazy and i'm not going to give all the details things are crazy in the world it is the best year for her family and she and i'm i i know buzzfeed internet is a is a christian and it's really is all about perspective you guys so i girl i read your text message like three times i'm like you have an entire football team over there and you <laughs> And she's still giving glory to God. Amen. It has been a great year. And as I stated earlier in the blog, we're living, we're breathing. Yes, we have family members who may have been sick. We may have had losses. Um, but we serve an all-knowing and faithful God, y'all. You know, so at the end of the day, I know that a lot of you guys are probably depressed and you're down. But I'm here to tell you that it will be okay. Right now, it may not seem that way. But it will, you guys. And we're going to look back on this as victorious we really are you know we're not going to be victims okay so um i'm going to i'm going to pass around the collection plate <laughs> so yes 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 i am good with that being said we're good homeschooling is good um we're going to switch up things a little bit for 2021 um i had on my goals goals if i can you know correct my language girl and i'm really going back into tapping into my spiritual goals because uh i used to be a yearly type of okay these are the things i want to accomplish but now i well a couple of years ago i switched to a vision chart um and that was really really good for me and then so that's why I was leaning towards when we started out with 2020 and then the pandemic hit. But one of my spiritual goals on there was to look into what my spiritual gift is. And I think we all have a spiritual gift. Amen. Now, part of me wishes it could be um, to sing, you know, to vocalize and be able to bless people. But that's not for me. and that, that, I don't have that, girl. So, <laughs> you know, but I believe that my... Um, gift and i need to really pray on this and fast and get it together is um the gift of encouragement or um exhorting okay i i, I believe i i i know there's no belief at this point i know that that is my spiritual gift so um i need to really focus on that for 2021 because i think that people I need to start focusing on that now because I know that people are going to need that. And I don't think I do that to a certain degree. I, I try to encourage you guys here on my platform. Um, so, yeah, you guys. So, that's it for the personal life stuff, y'all. wanted to give y'all an update. Y'all already know things are going to be a little bit crazy for 2021 on my channel. Um, I'm trying to get this last ratchet review. Y'all. I have no idea where the camera the camera stopped and I don't know where it stopped so oh well girl um, I hope y'all heard me talking about me focusing on for 2021 but really starting now on what my spiritual gift is because I really think that whatever gift that you are blessed with is definitely going to be needed for 2021 and so um I think it's really important right now in this day and age also to be obedient and to not be too uh, distracted, okay? And there's a lot of distractions right now. So, all right, you guys. What I'm watching on YouTube, y'all, I really have not been watching a lot. Um, I 
thought, I don't know why, I don't know if I had a dream, I thought that African Export had came back. Girl, stop. I don't know why I thought that, y'all. I was so excited. I don't know if I accidentally saw a video and I thought it had been released for like this week. Girl, she ain't back. She is not back. She is, now she was kind of active on Twitter, but <clears throat> I haven't checked her Twitter feed, so I have no idea what she's doing, y'all. It's, I do risk, wish some of the OG natural hair YouTubers would come back, but I get it. I mean, when you've been gone for a while and to come back, it's a lot, you know, and, and YouTube has changed so much when it comes to how you upload and all of that. I mean, it changes for those of us who've been on here consistently uploading. It changes for us. Like every other year, we know it is something. I'd be laughing my ass off an angel. <laughs> Nezzy naps y'all she trips me out something something will change and she'll either text me or call me to verify if I if the changes is occurring on my channel too if it's reflected on my channel and sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't so y'all she she cracks me up now I girl I called her on her live she had a live and so I accidentally called I was just calling to chat with her <laughs> and she put me on the on speaker. I'm like, oh Lord, girl, why did you go and do this? I, <laughs> why did you, why did you put me on speaker? Oh, she's like, when are you gonna start going live? Never, ever. Did you see how I changed, y'all? I filter so much madness and foolery out of my videos. Y'all, y'all don't want me live. Nuh uh And then going live is a totally different. <clears throat> it's a totally different ball game. Um. There are some people who are really good at it. I think that, what is his name? Um, uh, Y'all know who it is. African Hair God is, is really good at it. He has perfected it. Um, but you got to get a webcam, a streaming service. And girl, I don't, uh -uh, I'm done. Mm -mm, I don't want to do all that. I just want to record my videos, put them up there, and that's it. But I understand, you know, a lot of y'all um, really do enjoy the live videos people who you know do that and i i like people that go live too and i join in sometimes but yeah girl no we ain't doing that mm -mm. so um what else am i watching on youtube i started to watch back again sean's uh videos love coach no life coach sean I know who she is. She does the strawberry letters. I just really don't understand, y'all. Like, I must have... And I listen to... A lot of the times, I listen to YouTube videos while I'm in the car. And sometimes, I, I can't even get through the entire letter without almost running off the road. Like, are you crazy? And it's not... I shouldn't say that. It's not that the women or the young women who are writing into Sean are crazy. You know, love can make you think a lot of things and also a lot of these men or people in general are uh, narcissistic and um controlling and they will have you thinking a certain way or feeling a certain way and so i don't want to want to 100 percent blame the writer of the strawberry letters but at some point you have to take accountability of making this decision to be with this deadbeat man because you can and, and you know what's so funny is a lot of these letters I saw the red flag, but then why are you writing in? You already know what you need to do. You just need someone to say, yes, it's, it's okay to leave him. You already know what you need to do. And y'all, I, I get it. It's hard. It can be extremely hard to leave someone who you, you know, truly are in love with. Um, so, yeah, I, <laughs> I was listening to the one where I guess this guy had this woman had gotten into a relationship with a guy and they had invested in some rental properties. He apparently had 17 rental properties. Come to find out that he was staying with his baby mother for, according to him, he was still staying with the baby mother, not for the mother, but for the child. They needed to cohabitate together. Is that a word? They had to live together for the child. And so the writer was like, you know, she asked her boyfriend, what well, are y'all sleeping together? What type of question is that? Like, seriously, like what type? And he's like, no, absolutely not. We're just, 
you know, we're, I'm just here for the child. I'm not sleeping with her, even though I have 17 different houses I can go to and do whatever the hell I want with her and anybody else. Y'all, woo, child. Sometimes, you know, like I said, I just think that these women need this almost like permission slip to do what they know that they should have done years ago. And it's hard. So yeah, listening to that, looking at that, um, I still feel like on this platform, YouTube, that a lot of, I don't even want to say 4C, that a lot of four type chicks are still chasing length and a certain curl pattern. In my opinion, there is no reason why someone like Busby, who has quality content, shouldn't have over 100,000 subscribers. That's just my opinion. Um, I think she puts out great content. I'm not just saying it because I like her. There are other um, four type chicks that I think put out just as great content and they have less than 10,000 followers. And I'm thinking what's going on and then you go to someone else who has... 3C, 4A, I'm, I'm gonna be nice nice and put in 4A, but mo most of the time they really are just 3C. Um, and they have over 100,000 followers, they have long hair, they have even like super thick hair. And it's like, you know, most people, they have great content. Um, Kalona Curls is one, although she's not as consistent um, as she used to be, but she has fine hair, she has long hair, um, and she has fine hair and I think that she deserves a lot of you. So anyway, y'all, I'm just saying that I just think that there are still a lot of people who are deserving of the views and subscriptions and they're not getting that. Um, and I know a lot of people view the natural hair community as toxic and I, I don't feel that way necessarily. I think that it could, you know, it could be that way depending on how you look at things, but I don't let it get that way. <laughs> me girl um there's this x at the top of your screen that you can click out of and never log back in again for the rest of the day so y'all yeah mm -mm, no so <laughs> I don't, yeah mm -mm, no so y'all i'm not really looking at much like i said um on youtube jb has taken over our our tv child i'm over it so yeah all right, y'all, so what I'm watching on TV, girl. I'm watching a lot of different stuff, but we're going to talk about some of the things I've been watching on Netflix. I really need to trim my ends. Look at this. I need to trim my ends because that's not pretty. Um, Let's start off with the movie Run, starring Sarah Paulson from Nurse Ratched. And the America Horror Horror series. Um, basically, crazy ass mama who is suffering from what is that disease? Munchausen by proxy, where you make your child sick. Spoiler, you make your child sick for attention or control issues. It was good. It had a twist ending, which I enjoyed. But yeah, it was good. And this was on Netflix. And the name of it, again, is Ron. Um, also was watching Girl mini series called A Teacher. Um, can't remember the name of the people, but redhead actress... We already know what it's going to be about. A teacher who is basically grooming one of her students. That's what the overall series is about. And y'all, before I even got past the first episode, I needed to verify that these kids are legal. Because I'm like, you never know. Like, seriously. So, um, I'm like, yeah. So, the, the boy or the guy that plays the young high schooler is actually was like 25. But still, like, the... um. <laughs> the actress that plays the teacher is 37. I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah, he's legal, but he's 25 is very young. But hey, he's of age, and so they could do whatever they need to do in the movie. Girl, who is this? Hey, hey, it was good. And again, it's called a teacher. And um, but I started to think about that, y'all. Like, we all know that they're. And I honestly think it's been way more than we have heard about 
Uh, we all know of the teachers that have or heard about the teachers that have slept with their um with their students and there was one here in phoenix actually she got pregnant by the boy that she was sleeping with i don't care what these people look like and oftentimes when you see in the news the the teacher is a fairly attractive woman but let's just be honest there's something wrong with a grown-ass woman who ha First of all, she's a pedi she's a predator. She's a pedophile. Um, there's something wrong with a grown ass woman who feels the need to groom and sleep with a 13 year old child. I think the one out here was the the child was 12 because we all know if it was the other way around, or let's just say if the woman was unattractive, we would be like no. But oftentimes when I look at these cases, especially on YouTube, you see all these comments from men. Oh, I would have loved to have slept with my uh, teacher. But since it's a good looking woman, it's okay. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, who was the one that passed away from cancer? Mary Kay, Mary Kay Letourneau. She ended up having two children by this uh, child. Well, I think the second one, he was of age. And she ended up passing up cancer. What was it, last year or earlier this year? But you know what I was thinking? He's the only, from what I understand, the only case. He's the only one where we got to see what the child looked like. And I honestly think it's because uh, he's a child of color. What is he, Asian? I don't know what his ethnicity is, but everyone else, you never got to see what the child looked like. Um, I think a lot of these women, and especially in the, the series, the mini series, a teacher, the women are, are, you know, the attention that they get from these young men is everything. Because, uh, come on, a 14-year-old, 13-year-old boy probably haven't even had sex, and now you have your teacher showing you some attention of course you you gonna be texting her all day of the hour if she sends you a little picture that's it it's a wrap it's disgusting it's sick so anyway y'all enough of that um we watched <laughs> the goonies i know y'all from the 80s my baby we're watching a bunch of 80s movies um JB and I are watching a bunch of 80s movies together. So we watched The Goonies a couple of a couple of uh, days ago. And he was like, this is the best movie ever. <laughs> He's so cute. He's like, this is now my favorite movie besides Coraline. Yeah, Coraline is so damn creepy to me. That's his favorite movie though, Coraline. Um, so anyway, we watched The Goonies and I was pointing out some of the things in the movies and he he was right it was right up his alley because jb's an old soul and he really did enjoy watching it um girl saving the best for last so y'all know that i've had the game of thrones in my list for literally for like a year and i was like i got stuff to do i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna no i ain't got time to be watching all, all this stuff i am here for it baby um winter is here Baby, winter been here. It's cold as hell. So, y'all, I'm looking at it, and of course, I'm late. I'm years behind. <laughs> but, hey, I'm finally doing it. So, I finished season one. And, y'all, the first few first few episodes, you got to pay attention. Like, you're you going to be lost if your ass ain't paying attention, right? So, they're talking about the White Walkers. I'm like, the White the white Walkers? It's, it's some more white people? What the hell is going on? Girl, no, it's a different, it's not even people. Uh, I'm assuming it's a species, a different species of uh, a being that they're scared of. Um, so yes, I finished season one. I can't stand Jeffrey's ass. I need for someone to do something to him. Um, I have a feeling that they're going to kick him off the throne because he's the king. He's a child king and he's very immature. He's sadistic as hell. He needs to go. He needs to go. So, uh, yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm liking it. There, There is a lot of sex. And um, Budsby did warn me that it's going to... She, she said she stopped watching it because it was too much sex. I'm like, wait a minute. There's going to be more sex than this? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. So, um, not a lot of cursing because I'm like, how are they going to curse? Because uh, this is like old English. Thou 
going to beat thou's ass or, you know something like that but they do some cursing but it's just not it's not a lot but it is a lot of sex so i am enjoying it um i will probably binge watch season two and three next week yes get it out the way but girl i gotta watch this when jb's not around so y'all there's something else i'm seeing on netflix that has merle street and i Meryl Streep. Is that her name? Yeah, I need to watch because I really like her. I, I really, she's one of my favorite actresses. So I really want to watch that. But as I said, y'all, there is no other series I'm watching. Um, I think I may go back and start watching season two of Fargo. It's just that right now, since I'm doing Game of Thrones, I need to be focused, girl. I gotta be focused. So, y'all, that is it for this chit-chat. I wanted this to be a longer chit-chat. I need to go ahead and finish my hair. So, all right, y'all, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, as always, to all my subscribers. Take care. Bye.